If, if you want to say that you're kind of an influencer on social media when it comes to working out, that's mainly what I see of you. Wow. And what Thanks, keeps Tim. you motivated? Well, I have to motivate other people every single day. So sometimes I'm not feeling it like everybody else. You know, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't like the winter time. I don't like the cold. Um, but sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. You know, I don't want to get out of bed sometimes. And I do. And I get myself started and then and then that's that's how the day starts but for instance I think Amanda asked me about coming to a class here I'm like oh Monday morning definitely don't feel like getting up early and I'm a late sleeper but you know what I started doing the classes here and I haven't done a ton but it got me into such a good routine and a good start for the week I thought yeah. I can roll with this this is great yeah you know the hardest part about you yeah, but go- you're you're it's because you're sitting here with me. Come on, give me one. Come on. <laughs> but it's be- no, but for real, it's because you're sitting here with me. But I see you, like, we're going to tell people your, your your Instagram when we leave cool. uh, here. But you're on the treadmill walking on your hands. You saw that. Yeah. That was a long I, time I don't ago. just let people sit on my couch if I don't research them first. Uh-huh. Um, Deep I, in the files. I see you. Yeah. Walking on your hands down the boardwalk, yeah. you know, I see you doing deadlifts with bands on, pushing it. Yeah. Um, there, there's there's a, a lot more than just the boxing. That's, yeah. that's just something that you just added on recently. Yeah. What keeps you motivated to keep doing that kind of stuff? Well, I can't, I don't even want to be on a treadmill on my feet. I know. I hands. don't either want to be, I'd rather be on my hands. I don't like to run. But you know what? It's, it's like, People are so scared to work out and they're so scared of failing and they're so scared of being vulnerable. But you never know when, until you try. Mm-hmm. And I, I say that with kids. I don't let my kids say can't. I'll be like, you're hurting my ears. I can't hear that word. You know, like they'll come to summer camp and I'll say three rolls, have to have fun, no fingers in the mouth before COVID. And you can't say can't. <laughs>